yo what's good it's your boy top so back again with another video as you know we are back with some fire so today we feel to be making something simple you know what i mean we won't be complex and too long i feel to be showing you how to mix your own beat you know what i mean someone in the comments requested that so i was like i right, let me do the video you know what i mean so yeah if it happens that you're a music producer and you want to get your beat making skills to another level start now by hitting that like subscribe and without wasting any time let's hop into it hey so you're now in for studio this is the beat we're going to be covering hard and be hard 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 as you can hear it it's already mixed and mustered you know so yeah i think i'll be breaking down my steps you know I me mean? as i've said before this video will be short i don't like beating around the bush you know I me mean? we're not cavemen we are the soul gang so yeah let's do this first i use this this is the kick from a drum kit i won't mention for now and this 808 snare hi-hat and the usual hi-hat you know our hi-hat from the kit free 100 subs kit already out you know so yeah you can check it down in the description below i won't be breaking down the sample that would be the topic for another video so yeah let's hop in straight to this the mixer looks like this you know simple and straightforward nothing tweaked nothing decreased nothing like it's not like engineering type of shit you know what i mean that's why sometimes beats sound like poop I can say no offense but sound like poop because people over mix they do the work of an engineer your job is to make a beat if you're an engineer you can mix and master your beat and put every layer of sauce on top of it but we are producers we make the beat we set the mood then the artist put the vocals then the engineer does the job of mixing and mustering with the beat right but you cannot just leave your beat sounding like poop. gotta make sure that your beat sounds clean but not overly like a final product like mwah, masterpiece no your mixing should be controlled by the style of beat you are going for you know what i mean you cannot mix a zuchu coke dope type beat like you're making a 808 sally type beat those are two different styles and two different quality you know if you want to make 808 sally type beat you gotta make those drums smack and the 808 go crazy you know what i mean but zuchi coke dope type beats your beats should be clean don't just have the same style of mix like you're mixing the same way every beat of yours cause that can clash with the mood of the type of beat you're going for you know what i mean so yeah in this beat i was going for 808 sally type of style you know i got this kick my kick is cranked up you know it's distorting because this is the style i was going for next thing was the 808 it sounds like this you know because i like to be clean i have side chain my 808 to my kick some people don't do that because they want the dirt you know but i don't want it i want something like clean but dirty at the same time you know what i mean that's top soul that's me let me show you my side chain technique on the kick i just have a peak controller copy the settings if you want to copy the settings and then i have a bus which is side chain then it is a um, eq like this when the kick hits i don't side chain the peak that goes down like this because it's still letting the rumble pass on this part you know i do sound like this it cuts everything that's in the low frequencies you know what i mean next is the snare i just cranked it up you know i didn't calculate that uh negative 2 dbs plus 4 dbs is equal to 2 plus 4 i did not go that route i just went with my ears and my mind if i say this is i decrease it just do you you are a producer bro you are the most special person in the music industry without you there are no beats so take yourself serious next was a hi-hat you know that was literally it these are the drums only
the reason why i put the side chain as a bus is because i like to side chain my melodies to the kick as well it's simple i just take my melody look at that boom the side chain you know my melody i gain staged behind the scenes right here i just play with this knob to find the perfect spot then i was done so yeah this is the beat So yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching the video. I know this video was short, but I hope it was effective, not like short and useless. Yeah, I hope you learned something. If you did, hit the like, subscribe and comment. What you want in the next video, I'll make it happen. It's time for me to leave and love you. See you in the next video. Peace.